All right, today we are going to be talking about this little guy right here. Let's see if we can actually focus enough to uh, let you read what it says. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to play nice, does it? Well, that is an LM317, which is a voltage regulator. One of the most useful uh, ICs that you can find. And if we turn it like this, we can see that our three pins are input, output, and adjust. And the way this works is that whatever voltage you apply here by applying a certain resistance between the output and adjust you can get a certain voltage out let me give you a quick uh, sketch of how this would work So we'll say this is our LM317, okay? This is our voltage in. This is our voltage out. And this is our adjustment pin. So If we put a couple of resistors here, a fixed value resistor, and an adjustable resistor here tied to ground, and right where they come together, we will form a voltage divider, we can control the voltage at V out. And the way that works is because the adjust pin keeps a voltage of 1.25 volts between these two points and it varies the output in order to do so. So if you remember this little schematic right here Let me zoom out a little, folks. Here it is. IRL, as the kids say in real life. So, right here I have a jack. And you can see this red wire goes to our voltage in and the blue wire is our voltage out which is tied to the center pin of this 5k pot. We then have a resistor this one I is 240 ohm going over to this point which creates the voltage divider to pin 2 or the adjustment pin of the LM317. So let me bring in the meter which I'm going to connect to this pin here connected to the output make sure that's all the way down and we are going to connect 
12 volts to the input. Something is not working. There we go. So all the way down, we have our voltage reference of 1.25. And as I turn this up, we can go through the voltages until we get to 11.3, which is the maximum with that voltage drop from the internal reference. So what we have here is simply the basics of an adjustable power supply. Now there are a couple things that we would want to add to this, including an input bypass capacitor of about 0.1 microfarad, an output capacitor like a tantalum to limit spikes, things like that. But this is the basics of creating an adjustable power supply. And we're going to use this circuit here, and then we're going to duplicate it with another 317 to control current to create a simple desktop bench power supply. And these 317s are relatively cheap. You know, the parts we have here are less than $3. So we'd be able to put together a really nice bench power supply for less than, say, $40 US. If you're interested in seeing more, give me a thumbs up, share this, and please subscribe because in part two we'll be adding the second part of the circuit, the LM3117 current regulation. See you next time.